Before we begin, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, ZenThreadShop.com. This amazing website not only has great apparel, bath products, jewelry, and more, but they also donate a portion of their net proceeds to Beyond Giving, a 501c3 organization that currently provides funding to create and staff a nonprofit training center at which the underserved will acquire the entrepreneurial skills uh, they need to become self-sufficient. By entering the code ZTSROOM6 at checkout, you'll not only be helping the community, but saving 20% off your order too. It's a win-win all around. Thanks Zen Thread Shop for being a sponsor and thank you for watching. Now onto the show. Trying to, trying to get into every market there. Mr. President. Anyway, what I miss? If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share. And uh, yeah, let's go. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm very happy to welcome hard rock, nipple twisting badasses, <laughs> Dirt Halo. Welcome to the party, guys. Hey, cheers. Hey, quick, yeah. quick, quick, oh, yeah, you grab <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Um, say hi and, and introduce yourselves. Hello, I'm RJ. I'm the drummer of Dirt Halo. I'm Justin, the bass player. I am Bobby, and I'm the guitarist and singer, and you're watching Disney Channel. It's uh, Modelo time! <laughs> it's coronavirus time. <laughs> I, I, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. and, and now I'm sued. Thank So getting paid, all right? I want to thank everyone for watching Room 6. I had a great run. It was awesome. <laughs> Did you hear the joke about when Mickey went to the lawyer? No, I didn't. Oh, no. But now I'm curious. All right. Kids, if you didn't pay attention to the disclaimer at the front, close your, cover your ears. <laughs> what a, Mickey goes to the lawyer. He says, What a divorce, Mickey! And the lawyer says, I know, Mickey, but you can't divorce Mi Minnie just because she's acting a little crazy. I didn't say she was crazy. I said she was fucking goofy. Uh, <laughs> that's the way. Uh, I like that one. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's a great way to start this. <laughs> I'm here all night. <laughs> so let, let's get this out of the way. What is your next gig? Next year is uh, tomorrow, actually. No, next um, gig that they'll actually see. Like, yeah, oh, next gig, next gig see, yeah. February 7th. Blacktop Mojo, Backstage Bar and Billiards. That is a Saturday? That is a Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday at Triple B. Wow. Yes. Right on. Start, start your weekend right. May, it, may mm -hmm. the crowd get so big they have to open up Fremont Country Club. Hey! Yes. Yes. That be yes. Nice. That's, nice. that's nice. the good thing. Right. <laughs> Drake. He doesn't care about me. I'm drinking down here now. <laughs> Brandon, while you're down there. Oh, I'm not in. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Nocturnal Affair. Um, all right. And who's on that bill besides uh, Mo Mojo? What was it? Blacktop Black Mojo. Blacktop. I want to so say Mojo. Black far Dirt is Halo. Just us and Blacktop Mojo. Blacktop Mojo. Yes. Uh, they are talking about another local to be announced, but we are unsure at this time. They do. Yes. Well, well, probably won't be Nocturnal Affair. It's going to be me no. in a gym suit. Yeah, live, live sex show. He's bring the bananas. His first burlesque bring the bananas. show. Yeah. <laughs> burlesque to keep it classy. Yeah, it's gonna going be great. full nude. <laughs> this, this, hey, Vegas is home of entertainment, isn't it? Right? It is. Yeah, I'm trying to <laughs> trying to get into every market there. Da 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 da. da, da Mr. President. Da, 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 da. Anyway, what I miss? Oh, uh, oh <laughs> hey, he's back. Right. Uh, <laughs> you guys like avocados? <laughs> Guacamole. Uh, the pits. Come on, Trevor, where are you? He's already gone. He's like, oh, okay. It's going to be one of those interviews. <laughs> Ryan, you should be proud. <laughs> he won't be. <laughs> can, I do, can I do a call out for that? Yeah. All right. Just in case you don't know, for those of you that don't know Dirt Halo, thanks for watching. Seriously. 
Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, stick around for their performance up in, in room six in front of the guitar wall. If those of you that do know, maybe you don't know, uh, his dad is actually Ryan Ham- Hammond. Mm. Hammond. Uh, drum, drummer for <laughs> drummer for Crimson Riot, who was on this channel, link here. Uh, and uh, also Roxy Gun Project. Yeah. And uh, that's your Roxy's step brother. Brother, just straight up brother. Sure, brother? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, I, my sister for real. It's a different name, so funny story oh, about it. Oh, um, yeah. She's married, so. Yeah. Roxy's actually the only reason well, she's in the band. I was going to say the funny story is Roxy's the only reason I'm in the band. <laughs> Me too. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, Wait, this, he, guy, this guy was a hard... Roxy's last name is him? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. It's All right, there you go. <laughs> she changed. <laughs> uh, how long have you guys been in Nevada or Las Vegas? I've been here five and a half years. I went in here about the same. Where'd you move from, if I may ask? Corpus Christi, Texas. I moved Swamp. from Denver, North Carolina, middle of nowhere. A bit of a leap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. How about you? I'm from super far away, um, right down the street. Yeah. I'm there for a Yeah, I know your dad. Yeah, I know. I can't believe it. I moved here. I've, I've had a band on that actually transplanted from Alaska. Oh, yeah, nice. I was That's like, a hell of a move. Adam Patterson and the Heavy Is that Hearts. still a state? Yes. Okay. It's not a Good. state, it's an adventure. It's uh, okay. a state of mind. It's a state of oh, mind. <laughs> so, now, how long have you been during Halo? I, I know there was a fourth member at one point. Yes. There's mm-hmm. been a lot of fourth members. There's been multiple fourth members. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> did I, 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 did, I don't think I mentioned, I, I used to sing in a, in a cover band, it was called Revolving Door, and it was the best name ever. Yeah. Just threw them all, screw it! Yeah. Seven right. drummers, we ended up back on number two, and Four keyboardists, and we ended up never having a keyboardist. We were a seven-piece band, and we ended up being a four-piece band. See, we need a keyboardist. That way, at least I can get laid all right. the time. I'm just saying. Keyboardists are lower on the total pole. We don't players. even worry about him. He's the bass player. He's, <laughs> we actually can fish him out of the shot if we want. Yeah. <laughs> look, look at the camera. Be sad. <laughs> we'll get a zoom in on it later. Yep. There it is. That's the, the sad piece. All right, cool. <laughs> so, how long have you each been doing music? I've been playing music oh, for life. 21 years, since I was 10 years old. Right on. And what did you start on? Bass. Bush. Nice. Mm-hmm. I, I hear, I, I actually, bass I, players, I, I actually everything. chose bass, and there aren't a lot of you out there, there's just a lot of frustrating guitarists that get <laughs> demoted to bass. No, I've had people, like, I started on drums, uh, I started on uh, viola, I started, you know, you're just well, like, it's weird, I started with bass, and then I migrated guitar because no one yeah. wanted a bass player, and then I moved to singing because everyone wanted a Randy Blythe kind of singer, and that's what I do. And then I went back to bass going, nobody wants a guitarist or that kind of singer, so fuck. It's pronounced Bly, actually. The T-H-E are silent. Yeah. He, listens, he listens to punk, so there are no rules. Ooh, nice. Do, do you do realize that Q is just the letter Q with four letters standing in line? Standing in line, yeah. I know, yeah. it's stupid. But welcome to English, where the words don't matter, but they're there, there. Oh, I wish I could remember the Terry Pratchett quote. But anyway, you... Uh, um, all your life, you said? So, basically, uh, I actually started, like, when I was really young in middle school, I started with violin, and I was in an orchestra. So, that's how I originally Sweet. started. Um, <laughs> you started with skin flute. <laughs> <laughs> my first instrument wasn't oh. the skin flute, but it's my favorite instrument. <laughs> By the way, we are roommates. This is scary news. I'm just finding this out now. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> it's especially with that shirt. You are not safe. <laughs> I know. I'm in danger. Well, it's funny you said that viola as well, because I went from violin to viola. Right. And then, what is the difference? I've always wondered that. Uh, just the, it's a little bit... Not your turn. A little bit bassier. So, push. so <clears throat> you have violin, viola, and then cello. Wow, you really? I'm gonna get heavy. Can I get make it heavier? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we can make it heavier. Oh, yeah. Heavier than a fat the word. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I meant physically heavier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to see somebody play a cello like. <laughs> You're right. Anyway. Drummer boy. Me. Uh, so I've been playing drums for 16 years or so. Uh, so, so you, since so, you're two? Since, yes, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Okay, so so at what age did your dad, were you like, dad, I want to drum? Um, so like probably seven or eight, I started getting interested in it. And, uh, okay. you know, my dad put us in a, uh, me and my sister in a room together and was like, do something. Oh, we're wow. Like, okay, cool. So she had a guitar and I had drums. We're like, all right, cool. We can do this. Did he lock it? So, what the? <laughs> <laughs> this is not that interview. <laughs> Got it. All right, guys. And then the white stripes came and stole your <laughs> yes. we Oh, so no, much they were married. 
<laughs> yeah. White stripes. That was a. I know. They married. <laughs> Wait, what? The white stripes. Is that was a husband they, and wife. Divorced. Actually, I thought that they were brother They're and brother sister. sister. Was it? Yeah, yeah I thought they were married. Sure. Yeah, but they, they were married. Sister. Brother and sister. No, well, they were wrong. also married. <laughs> no, maybe from your state, you asshole. By the way, <laughs> Jack White, if you come across this beef, motherfucker, beef. Uh, anyway, I, do I have a banjo? Anyway, <laughs> run. <laughs> Where's, that? Where's that Mickey Mouse? Anyway, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, let's talk musical influences. We'll just go ahead and start here, and we're probably done. Musical influences. Your earliest musical. What got you like? I want to do that, or, or they're tattooed on me twice. Noise. I still fight. I'm just kidding. AFI. <laughs> <laughs> AFI. I, I know it sounds weird. <laughs> cause... A fart inside. <laughs> they hate on me I got so one much of those. For that. Hey. <laughs> they hate on me so much for that being my favorite hey, band. But hey, hey. But what's weird I'm is I'm personally okay with your lifestyle. Well, it's <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me bomb hit shit. it. Come here. <laughs> you believe this shit? All right, bass yeah. players, you're not alone. A five. But like, happy. AFI, happy. It, it literally was a weird combination of AFI, Phil Collins, Lamb of God. That's why he's bald. Smashing pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> old school stuff, Led Zeppelin and everything. But I, you know I was good on you for not limiting yourself. Oh, no, no. If it's, I want to know where I came from to know where I can go. Because there's yeah. only so many notes you can play, but how you play it. That's why so. I We'll get to, like, like my gear, but how many strings are, do, you, do you normally play? I used to do a four, but since we played drop E, I went to the five because when we recorded sure. the EP, I played on a five and I just went, I love that 135. Um, so yeah. I'm trying to get a band on here. You know who you are. Leo. Oh, yeah, Leo. Their bass, yeah, player, their Leo. bass player plays like a nine string bass and he uses all of them. What the fuck are you doing? They're, they're he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's amazing. He's being amazing, is what he is. Does he have nine fingers on one hand? Like, no, I had to go there and I was like, Boys playing them. Dude, that's great jack off ability, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you have nine yeah, fingers. Yeah, range. Man, <laughs> yeah. there. In let two me, ways. You get those balls, too. I, I, I applaud that you have that many strings, but I also, because I was a hard ass on the Jocko thing, where I was like, I can do anything, you can do a four. But I have no ass. He's been doing Pilates. <laughs> Good you? on you for uh, yeah. not limiting yourself to one. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, we're, we're the jackasses of the band, so... I, as you can tell, I'm Cheers. the most loved, because uh, the, the way it goes is, if we don't pick on you, we don't love you, and I'm going, holy shit. Yeah, that sounds a lot like Chris, actually, Chris and Roxy. Yeah. Yeah. I, last night, oh. he actually told me, he was like, love someone else. <laughs> love me less. <laughs> love me less. It's like, it's like ow, stop helping. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, you. Me. You with oh. the face. Okay, me with the face. Oh, I, got, I got a nose, too. Um, my influence was, <laughs> was, uh, I think my biggest influence ever was actually Ozzy Osbourne, which is the whole reason I even started playing music. I, I'm assuming you mean Randy Rhodes. Mm-mm. No, Ozzy oh. Osbourne. So Ra- Ozzy Osbourne's singing yeah. made you want to play guitar? Uh, not okay. particularly, but I guess just like the whole thing together, because I'm, one of my favorite guitarists would be like Zach Wilde, obviously, yeah. Randy Rhodes. All of them were great. Um, Jakey Lee. I, I liked them all. Um, but just like Ozzy's solo project just kind of made me actually get into music. And then later on mm-hmm. with like my singing, because it does get a little bit heavier. We do lighter songs as well. But like, I would say what, like Static X, um, who else? Uh, Machine Head was a good one for me Get for the, the singing. Um, right. no, I well, did the same thing. The, the, I saw <laughs> you have a video online of you guys at, at Beauty Bar. Yeah, that was so uh, long ago. <laughs> was that you singing? Yeah, with no beard. Yeah. yeah. Okay, because I wasn't sure. I'm like, is, is with the, the makeup the guy that's, Is he the guy that's not in the band? I sure don't want to ask. <laughs> <laughs> it has changed. He's gotten. I will say this. He's gotten way more confident in himself, which is shown on all of our and, stuff. And so. part of that's just time. Yeah. 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 And 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 you know, positive feedback. Yeah. Uh, by the way, bands love when you scream and applaud and everything. Oh yeah, unless it's like I, I like quiet. it more. I like it more when you whip your tits out. Just saying, I would prefer that. I mean, if you're quiet, wh- thank you, Grandma. My hands are cold yeah. too. <laughs> hey, Damn, they are cold. It, <laughs> let me say this: it don't matter if you got to lick them and roll them up. Let me see them. It's cold. Wow! Nice. Thing is wow. <laughs> Just what? I feel like Joey Lawrence. Whoa! <laughs> lick wow! Them roll them up. I'll drink to that. You. <laughs> I, I I think I know what your earliest musical influences are, but probably you can go only because of Ryan's answer and, <laughs> yeah. and Roxy's answer, but. Go ahead, what, what was your early music? So when I was young, uh, my dad showed me Rush 
for the first <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Neil. Why? Why is it? Mission Neil. Mission Neil. Only if yeah. you're English. Yes. Um, <laughs> Neil Peart, definitely uh, one of the big influences. And when I got older into high school, um, I started listening to uh, Ben Summerfold. So bit of a bit of a, <laughs> bit of a leap. <laughs> bit of a leap. Yeah. Actually, so, that's what you, you I, told me. I, yeah, yeah. I enjoy oh, Avenged Sevenfold, Audition. and I I will say it. So rest in peace. Not because James of Rep Yeah. <laughs> I will I will say this not because of where they're from. They're from Vegas, but I like the Five Finger Death Punch. Okay. I do too. Actually, I, I, everyone's gonna give me shit for except that, for that thing they did with Zach Wild, yes. but where or not Zach Wild, but um the the cover of a. Uh, Crap, I can't even think about it anymore. <laughs> okay, let, let me say this. Chris Kale is kind of like my... If I were rich and famous, he would be my avatar. He's bald, he's, he's got a patron. beard. Well, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, but yours isn't dreaded yet. Yeah. It's because I'm not at his level yet. But <laughs> you are <Baseball> either. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go down yeah, here. Nice. Uh, but no, he's, he's literally a bald-bearded bass player, and he's a pug, Dad. I'm going, you and I are best friends, you just don't know it yet. You got a pug, huh? Has to. Had. You see, like, Aww. Chloe will not make an appearance tonight. Uh, she got taken away and put in a room, but she did her barking. Uh, faithful viewers know that sometimes my dog just decides to pipe up with her own comments and I have to put them on the screen. <laughs> like, you know, she's move along, hack, or something she's like She's telling us how bad we are. Yeah. Oh, no. Her, it's amazing. She, the, she, the timing is so hilarious sometimes. They'll be talking about some other band. And she'll bark, and I'll just be like, they suck, or whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> Close caption for your viewing. Play nice. anyway. um, so, from early musical influences, let's talk about current musical influences. What are you, what getting you jazz now? You said Avenged Sevenfold. And, oh, yeah. But I would definitely have to lean towards Breaking Benjamin and Seether. Uh, I definitely have been playing them a lot. I only, I, I try to laugh because of someone named Joey Himes has been on the show twice, actually. He's the only repeat guest I've had. And he has a song that goes, I love you, but I don't love Seether. <laughs> Seether is oh, great, man. Okay, no, so great. Everyone's going to hate me for this, but Seether's actually my favorite band. Hey, hey I, I'm cool with Seether, too. <laughs> it's just so that, that it was just funny hearing that. It was because it was like, well, all, I can only hear that song now whenever I hear Their new Joey. album is, is the fucking tits. Their new album all, is the all, fucking tits. A lot of the songs that I write, um, actually, you can hear a lot of influence from Seether. So I didn't want to go there, but yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I've been so, told it so many times. So your current, right, no, your your current influences are cedar, yeah, absolutely, and corn. Uh, maybe not corn so much because I'm not it's just a shirt. Yeah, just a shirt. <laughs> All right. I mean, I love corn, but I I'm not gonna play. I wear one. I preach. Yeah, I wear. One. You know, yeah. I, I like wearing this to the gym. <laughs> Straight out of cookies. <laughs> Straight out of cookies. Nice. I, have, I have another one that's uh, it's it's got like. Uh, pizza slice and ding, cupcakes and donuts that says nobody cares about your diet. I mean, he he me wears what cookie just he wears what he preaches too because he's actually on FarmersOnly.com. Hey, and if you guys want to check him out, no, 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 <laughs> don't get me sued. <laughs> All right, I keep doing that. So you, <laughs> current musical influences, uh, Crimson and Riot. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah. Right? Just look up to my turn Halo. I listen to our band. That's all I do. <laughs> really, we're not that pretentious. Been, I swear to God. Our, our album you must is, be working on it. Yeah, yeah. Our album is pretty good, but uh, no, I've been listening to a lot of uh, like Chevelle and Tool. Right. You know, on. That kind of like Elysium. Yeah, I haven't Elysium, heard enough music to to get. Hey, shout out to Elysium, shout right? Out to Elysium, yeah. yeah. Love you guys. Nice. Oh, okay, guys, by the way, you guys it. do have an EP. Uh, we don't have a physical copy, but you, you do have an EP. Yes. And that is called House of Broken Glass. House of Broken Glass. Why is it called that? <laughs> but believe it or not, um, we can those that live in glass houses. Okay. So uh, the whole album is kind of like based around my last relationship, and it <laughs> obviously went so I know I'm like I'm a whiny bitch. Uh, so uh, 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 a front man, I, I I came in with the save on that one because that that a front man who's a whiny bitch, shocker. Let's <laughs> and we couldn't do House of Broken Ass, so we had to do something. <laughs> like, uh, actually, look for House of Broken Ass. That's going to be our next. Porn track. Yeah, uh, we're, we're working yeah, on we're it. We're super real. Film it, you know. You know. <laughs> brown, chicken, brown cow. Oh, you touched my ta la la. Put it in the. You know, we're gonna do like Revenge of the the shit, the all anal final wow. chapter. Of, you know, Star Horse. So, yeah, <laughs> we're working on that. Um, <laughs> that, that Life of what? Shit Festival. Yeah. Like, hey, there's a reason they make glow in the dark condoms. You can play lightsabers. Just saying. Um, I've been there. As <laughs> space. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hope well, you're having a good Friday. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I feel so old. <laughs> Me too. 
Oh, <laughs> shut, the, shut the fuck up. I, I'm like almost a decade older than this guy. What the fuck? <laughs> My, this <laughs> apple has more peach fuzz. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, not down here, it doesn't. Show this shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Anyway. Whip it out. Whip it out. <laughs> Wait, can I just say, first of all, how awesome it is to see Devo on your knuckles? Yo, I, <laughs> I know it's the motion. I got the hat and everything. But it's, I know. Show him, show him. I can't Devo! Devo! Now show him. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> so, so what's funny about that actually is I used to work at Brooklyn Bowl. What's um, funny is my baseball like, actually does have the hat. It's, oh, does he? It's, yeah, it's in his let, uh, microphone let recording it. closet. <laughs> nice. It's in his microphone recording closet right next to his uh, crown. Nice. I actually used to work at Brooklyn Bowl, and all the time, I would like, kind of like, I was a food writer there, so I'd like bring the food out there, and they'd always look at my knuckles and be like, oh, you're a Devo fan? And I'm like, no, I'm into Schoolhouse Rock. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, and. <laughs> but yeah, no, I've, I've had so many people say that. I, it was a. It, I said now it. it's like, <laughs> now it's now I realized it was a mistake. I thought it was cool. No man, <laughs> it's only a mistake if you let it be a mistake. I'm gonna it's get a, shit. Did sandwich someone say steak? Bitch! You just gave it more ammo. What the fuck? Oh, it's gonna be the whole right. time. Uh, you can dance if you want to. Right? <laughs> you mean, okay, I've actually been for the past <laughs> day. I've been trolling him with safety dance. <laughs> <laughs> My, my wife, yeah, when well, my wife and I were dating, she, she brought up something that's always stuck with me. It's give and dance if you want to. <laughs> I don't know why. I literally nice. walked in because he was playing it. I didn't know he was recording. I'm like, you could buy yourself a gun, put it in my mouth and pull the trigger because this is no more fun. Yeah, he just <laughs> whacked his ass off. Well, well it's because I played it like a thousand times that day. And he was like so sick of it. <laughs> he had... Both, he had, I was even playing yeah, covers yeah. of Andy and Steph were both playing it. As soon as I would watch covers in, of this song, Elysium did one. Oh my god, what? <laughs> yes. It's Elysium, amazing. I love you guys. You Set later. your next cover at your next show. There you go. <laughs> the seventh, get ready. <laughs> you can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. If you're coming to the seventh show, <laughs> buy me a drink. Buy me ten. I don't want to remember I'm who I am. I'm checking the wild <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right. Um, oh dear god. Moving on. Yes. Because it was. You got to be somewhere at some certain time. Yes. yes. Sorry, just wiping the tears out of my eyes from that. <laughs> hey, good times, man. Good times. Good times. Good, true story. <laughs> um, <laughs> where did the name Dirt and Halo come from? No. Oh. Um, this is this is one of three standard interview questions I'm going to ask you. Yeah, I know. Uh, that one yeah, always I comes know. up, which is funny because I'm actually friends with the guy now. But uh, it came from someone that... Um, I was previously in a band with, and all the time, at the time, he was like on drugs. I'm not going to sell him out or anything. I'm not say I've never done that. But, um, I mean, not the drugs part, but had somebody in the band. Yeah. And so, um, uh, out in public, he would act like a saint and everything. And then Ooh. behind closed doors, he acted like pretty poorly. And so I always made a joke to our basis at the time saying that he wore a dirt halo. See, that's not where I thought it came from at all. Yeah. I thought it was a butthole when I first saw it. <laughs> I, I honestly thought it had something to do with making a dirt angel on the ground. And, and oh, no, yeah, no. I went way too in instinct with that. That's awesome. Yeah, no, so it was just, it stemmed from a joke that went too far, and then we just decided that it was going to be the band name. There you go. <laughs> you heard it here. Um, <laughs> favorite show memory as a band? Oh no! I have it, it doesn't. Have, it, it doesn't have to necessarily be a good one. It could be <laughs> one that is okay. I do have one. I do have one. We did this New Year's kickoff party. Uh -huh. None of us were exceptionally happy of how it went down. <laughs> but uh, everybody that played was basically underage, so they had this whole thing of beer that no one oh, but us could touch. Oh, yeah. we, no, we drank fuck every fucking beer before we played. We got up there. Hammered as shit. Yeah. And we still play the songs <laughs> where, where, properly. Where was this? Beauty Bar. Beauty Bar. <laughs> was it that one you recorded? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. 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 We didn't just make for, it. was for greed. Let me say this. That we, one, yeah, we, got, no, we, 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 we were so shwasted. He forgot to take Shwasted. His, he forgot to take his glasses off and he went halfway. It flung. Hit me. Broke. And sound guy went to go grab him. Knocked my beer off my amp. That's why you don't put your beer on your amp. Nope! Stupid. Sound guy should have been near my amp. I set it up. Fair you to didn't be, set it well, up. Well, right. to be fair. To be fair! So anyway. 
But yeah, that was actually my favorite. Is we got so fucked up. We drank the entire case that was meant for all the yeah, performers. Yeah, we like, drank it because it was a. It was like a whole cooler. This whole thing was like full of ice. Every single one of those bands was like, oh, cool. They were eighteen. <laughs> I can't. And, well, and they're not eighteen. Yeah. And I'm sure all of them drank. It's just they couldn't there. Yeah, yeah. there. And yeah. they were all PBRs. I'm going PBR me. Yeah. Yeah. It's like my favorite beer too. So it worked out. <laughs> but we, that's also where we came. We're like, how many beers can I fill the top of my stack? <laughs> so, <laughs> that's how, you made a but, pyramid during the show. But the, main <laughs> re, that, the main reason that one's my favorite is that created a rule for us: we will never be that fucked up yep. ever again before we play a show. Uh, well, well, we, 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 well, well, we actually uh, had a uh, welcome yeah, to show. room six. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Um, faithful viewers know my love for uh, all things Dave Grohl and Foo Fighters. We're gonna see how many of these. Stack right, go up. for it. And and he he had a thing. It was like we knew it was time to like really seriously look at our our party. And when we were taking a whiskey bottle to the stage, <laughs> that's a that's a bad sign. Yeah, I've never been that bad. I have I have. Um, well, I bring beer to the stage. No, we, not but we were taking an entire whiskey bottle for. I haven't done. We're that. just like, hang on a second. Pour, pour, pour. <laughs> that's pretty bad. But um, I Maybe I, need a I, I have had that moment. I've had that moment three three songs into a set of uh, it, it was a cover band. Three songs in, and you're like, I don't remember doing the last three songs. I hope it did okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was like our whole show. That was our whole yeah. show that night. We were like, what song are we on? That was me at that night. I mean, night. That, <laughs> that, that was the night. Didn't play. I made the rule. I, I, I only nurse. If somebody if somebody buys the band shots, take them. I, I take, take them, but I wait till the break. Or yes. I wait till the end of the show. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and, well, now it's not such a big deal. I don't, I don't play out anymore. I bring them to me. <laughs> so... From favorite show memory, that was all. Everybody's favorite show memory. No, uh, so my favorite oh, okay. show memory is probably from the house show that we played. House it was, parties are, are yeah. pretty amazing. Wait, so was, it was, it was like one, house show. Was it was like really fucking cold outside. Oh, that was it. What's and his name? So uh, it's my job to start the songs, <laughs> right? As the what's drummer. His name? Every yeah. song. Oh, that was pretty much. Terrible. That was a well, count off. I count off. Yeah, so I count off start songs. So um, we started like fifty clicks too fast. It was freezing. We sounded like Crimson Riot. <laughs> shout, the, ah, shout out! Shout out! I will say this: We love you guys. In all fairness, in all fairness, this dude was out there in a short sleeve shirt in thirty degrees. Who has a house party outside when it's thirty degrees? Move it inside. We, we're not. Gonna we're, say. we're not we're safe. Move it inside. Um, we no, love those guys, though. We love you so much. Um, yeah. The FUQ. But, they're great. Well, what's guys. funny is that one song turned into a rap song because of how fast it was. Like, yeah, it was funny. <laughs> because... Oh, that's always fun when. It, yeah, I usually, felt like I was usually scratched. it only happens, <laughs> it only happens at rehearsal, but every now and then, yeah. drummer will just be like, "All right, we're doing sixteenth notes or yes. second notes." Yeah, Brrr, and you're just like, "This cold, fuck this cold." And I sing that jazz band, and you're just like, yeah. "Okay, here we go." I just want to be done. done. It was so cold. cold. It was also funny because like no one there liked us either. So no, we were like super. We played to a horse, and that was it. Actually, there was a horse there. There was a horse. I literally have a video that's going to be posted. It's going to go online soon. Uh, called Two Drunks and a Bartender." And it's about that moment of you're literally like we're playing to two drunks and a bartender, and one of them walked over and didn't like what we were doing. And you'll have to watch that video. Make sure you subscribe, click the bell, Bing Bing, to uh, get notified when one I post corners. that video because <laughs> it's a uh, it's it's a pretty good story. For any musicians to be like, yeah, yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Although I don't have the need, I don't think you have the story either, like Roxy had about some guy pissing on a ramp. No, nope. don't have. That I story. heard that in the parking lot. In the parking lot, I did not hear that story. It's like that's that's a okay. Or when she fell off the bar. Okay, that that's that's that guy, tell me that one. Oh yeah, that one's good. That guy deserves to have his dick ripped. So <laughs> I got piss I got a good story from one of those shows. Um, someone who I actually live Chris with wasn't there currently. Mm -hmm. I live with. She was there as well. Actually, no, I have a better one. All right, so we played dive Wait, bar one. Pause. Rewind. Play. All right. So <laughs> I just wanted to do that. <laughs> 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 so sorry, yeah. sorry, Ace Ventura. So. <laughs> 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 I had to do that. But we uh, <laughs> we, we played dive bar one night, and uh, after we got off oh, uh, stage, stuff. yeah, you know this is good. Oh yeah. Dive bar. Uh, I actually stuff. had my girlfriend at the time there. We've broken up now, but um, had my girlfriend at the time there, and we had this old lady come up to us yes. after the show. Yes, <laughs> yes! <laughs> the old lady story. All right. I, I can't. I I, I can't wait. 
Mm-hmm. Bring it. Mm-hmm. So she comes up to me and keeps talking to me, and like I've had it happen to me a few times, but like this one was the worst because she <laughs> she came up to me and started kissing on my neck in Ooh. front of my ex girlfriend. When you say old, like like fifties? No, like like late sixties. Later than that, Ooh. like Crip keeper. old. Creepy. Crip it was yeah. it was creepy. Old. Wow. Past the cougar. And then so the she started Remember kissing me on the neck in front of my ex girlfriend, <laughs> and she goes, "Hey, I'm just trying to spread the love." Wow. And I was like. Okay, personal space, and that's code for HIV. <laughs> yes, and then, no matter no matter what, no means no, folks. Okay, yeah, yeah. and yes, it's anal, and you've never been so, <laughs> and, and, and it's never been so small, right? The oh, dude, factor was high. It went inside of me, <laughs> like me and my girlfriend matched at the time. Wow, <laughs> you know what's funny? She after she Are you like, single? <laughs> I know it's a shocker. But after she was done with wow. me, I'm not even every laundry shoe. After she was funny. After she was done with me. Our bassist at the time, um, she went up to him and started doing the same thing to him, too. And he was like, all right. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Let oh, me, he fucked her. He would have been. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> let, me, let me throw this in there. Three times. Can, can, Three I tell, times. can I tell you the moral he took away from this? Please. I will tell you the exact moral. <laughs> because he's been here for this. He's watched it. No, he goes, check out that hot chick, and it's a really old, ugly broad, and I make eye contact, and here she comes. I've actually literally went up to his old chicks and been like, hey, he's into you. <laughs> he has done that, he has come up to me. Look, age, I'm, I'm kind of, there's wiggle room here, okay? There are but, those cobwebs. But, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm a bassist. What? Pipe is pipe, man. Let's do it. You just but, shove a ham in it and pull off the, the bone. Like, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> laying pipe is laying pipe. Right. But the thing is, that's how you refit no water. Not when you look like you don't have the heat to give me a good one. Probably not. You look like you're arguing with the bags in the Walmart parking lot, kind of crazy. All right. Those are some good show memories. Right on. Yeah. Uh-uh. Now, Merci- yeah. Mercifully moving on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I also actually almost got uh, roped into a threesome one time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were sad about it. it I was, was sad, sad about it because it was weird and awkward and they were really high on drugs. <laughs> and they were guys. I, <laughs> I know. And they were 50. No, I'm just kidding. No, it was like a guy and his girlfriend and they both came up to me like, if you're interested, we can go back to You know what? Place. I'd be so flattered. I mean, I felt flattered, but it, it really yeah. creeped me out. I don't really I, go home I with mean, people from shows. Wait, this is never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> never mind. Yeah, don't <laughs> say that. That's bullshit. I was say I don't go home with people from shows. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, you do. Moving on. Okay. All right. Let's, let's keep some of the dirty laundry in the, uh, for, the, for the second act. Um, best venue. It doesn't have to be one you played at. Just, which, you know, your favorite venue in town. Mm. I don't I don't mind, but uh, it's since they pay us good, and I always love hanging out there, I'd say band. Band like personally, band, yeah, especially for rock. I mean, they they've got it dialed in. They, they, they've they got a really good formula. Care about the bands, right. and I really appreciate that. Yeah, uh-huh. they do. And um, I, I, House of Blues. We played there, and we I liked it a lot. I'm, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna have to agree with him. Count oh no, 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 is probably Vamped by is, far the best. Yeah. Not uh, last interview, which uh, when this posts. This the nocturnal affairs interview will post after because they have a show coming up sooner, I believe. But um, uh, the, I can't remember who I think it was. Maybe just for from uh, nocturnal affairs said vamped is like going home, putting on your pajamas. It, you're, it's comfy. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You always feel at home. Yeah, and it's so easy to set. You just load in. And there's and, a back line. And, and if you've played there multiple times, everyone knows you, and they're just like, hey. Bobby. Every time we go up there for sound check, they're like, hey, Bobby, how you doing? You doing? By the way, yeah. Brian, yeah. Brian, Brian, who runs the monitors, you're fucking fantastic. Amazing. Patrick, who's Patrick back running the house sound. You, 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 dude, who's the guy also, that does the curtain? That's Brian. Brian, yeah, Brian, Brian. Brian you're the unsung hero because uh, so many places. Don't have a curtain even now. Yeah, and it's but just it's it's a silly thing, but still, literally every time we go there, Brian will be the first one. Like, hey man, I'm like, fucking Brian, what's up? There but that dude does great yeah, for us on stage. Do. Patrick does great for the house. Both of them sounds great. great. Guys. For so. for me, I mean, I, I liked playing Vamp. I've done that. I liked playing House of Blues because it's House of Blues, and and also I, I've never that played where there's two sound guys. Yeah, you know, I know, I know Vamp. Has they, that also? They, house back they do. Oh yeah, yeah. But at House of Blues, just like it's a big ass stage. What are you doing? Because <laughs> I see a guy out there, and, and it was just—it was, it was that was my first time doing with two sound people, and I was just mm-hmm. like, I've never—I can hear everything. This is amazing. And it, I was—I was sad we only had one set. 
Mm. I, I really was because I was like, I, I just want to keep playing here. Uh, plus, we, you know, showers in the green room. So yeah. I feel like we had an opposite um, uh -oh. uh, <laughs> feeling about House Blues because okay. we couldn't quite hear ourselves. Ooh, but, yeah. Um, the staff was very nice to us. There were yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. issues. You know, that, yeah. They were technical. Right right on, yeah. And the event manager, Kelly, he yep. was very... Right. I hear the thing about tri yeah. talking about Triple B. I, I mean, not Triple B. Uh, uh, you used to work there. Brooklyn Bowl. Brooklyn Bowl. Brooklyn Bowl. I was like bowling. That's uh, one I hear good things about that. I hear good things about how they take care of people. Oh, absolutely. Best uh, friend. I used to be. I used. To, I don't know. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I used, I also, used to be a cook. <laughs> oh. so, I've worked almost every job in that place. So it's, uh, there you go. He's well rounded, ladies. Yeah, he is. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All <laughs> right. I did not shake. shake. Round fucking assholes. <laughs> hey, um, don't don't dish it if you can't take it. You want to cry about it? Hot. Hot. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Tell it. Oh, I missed. <laughs> it. Do you have a best venue, or are you, are you basically agree with them? Um, so my best venue, um, actually went on tour with the Nocturnal Fair. Hey. Um, shout out again. Yes. Um, my favorite venue was in Lexington, Kentucky. We played a haunted house. That was theirs. I, oh yeah. That was oh awesome. fuck yeah. That was okay, theirs. That, awesome. yeah. that was. They told me the whole story about the rain and and just. Oh yeah. And and um, I think it was. That, um, Michael got shocked. He got actually got electrocuted. Yeah, yeah. He got electrocuted yeah. for sure. And the and sound then, people there were like, it always. This always yeah. happens here. It's, and then we went on a haunted ghost tour after the show. Nice. So that was fucking cool. We went to the Widow's Peak and there was like weird energy there. Like I'm super sensitive to that kind of shit. So. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, yeah, that was, that was probably my favorite. I can't believe you're up a lot. Yeah. I'm not going to be my dad. Hey, was that a crack? <laughs> was that a crack? <laughs> no, it was a crack on his dad. Oh. Keep <laughs> ball running. Anyway. <laughs> I'm getting this for years, man. I got this. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I took, I paid careful attention to my, my father and my grandfathers. I paid careful attention. I was like, nope. Best I got is like a widow's peak, maybe. Believe it or not. You're a guy. You get your hairline from your grandma. Your female. Yeah, yeah it's from the female. Yeah, unfortunately, they, they all, all had hair too. As far as I know. Okay, good. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> um, that I that much that much at least I can that in my height I can get I can say thanks grandparents. So thanks. Uh, Fuck my grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> right. So short. I mean, I will. Uh, I know you know. <laughs> you like relatives of anybody <laughs> oh, from North I think Carolina? I'm gonna go stand over here. Stacks. I'm not saying. <laughs> really? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's the only, that's the only people who are late yeah, right now. Right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, my mom's really moving cool. on from, from best, from your favorite venue. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she was, anyway. <laughs> I got an earring upstairs of hers. Anyway, um, dream show. <laughs> Is there a dream show you want to play or tour you want to be part of? Or just? Yes. Okay, as a band. Tour with Breaking Benjamin. Actually, what I'd like to do is I'd, I'd love for us to be mid-card. It's like, all three of those. Well, okay. Cedar, Brady, Benjamin, Chevelle, and us. I mean, on fucking tour. Given their status, it'd be really impressive if you were mid card. Yes. It, for yeah. all those bands you mentioned, if, if any of them just, were opening for yeah, you, I would just say don't dash opening. my dreams because I work really hard. I'm not. <laughs> my all those are unforeseeable I, dreams. I, here's, <laughs> anything is possible if you believe. I if you believe, believe it is not going to happen. No, I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> you know what? It may not happen right now, but it's going to fucking happen. Well, here's my surprise. You're not mentioning that AFI because we do not mesh. We doesn't do not mesh. mesh. Yes, it's it does. a dream show or not? No, no, no. Thank you. Uh, well, no, because I've actually <laughs> seen them live, and I actually had Davy and fucking Hunter walk on my hands. You know, I just can't. As a person, I just couldn't. I, I, I'm sorry, I couldn't do that. Where I'm like, I'm gonna jump on you people and walk on you. Oh, no, no, he just put one foot out, and we all did the same. thing. fucking on walk, dude. Show. We're good. Yeah. Uh, but you have all the okay. six foot guys. That's how we got to the front. Cause they're going all the tall guys. Oh, like, all right. I'm okay. fucking in that shit. See, if that's different, right. if he's like, come because, on, come on, because Davy's like right here. He's yeah. fucking short. So I'm like, look, I got you. I, I saw. There's a video. That was like my height, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> I thought we were cool. Like we yeah, are, man. What the hell? Yeah, <laughs> we are good. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we're never good. Don't worry. When we actually do, it's band, okay. Well, but, but, when we do band photos, that's, we that's actually that's a good show. Show. Yeah, <laughs> just, like play wise, that's what right. I would do. Because I've seen them, but I I always think about because I'm always thinking about us playing. So that's right, like what I do. No, no, that's Players actually I'm, I'm impressed. That's really good. And Nipple? new musicians, think Nipple. about that. If you're if you at all <laughs> have any control over the bill at a show that you're playing on. Think about it, like, okay, how are we going to mesh? I've after, I've often tailored a set list based on who was playing, not necessarily mm -hmm. where we were playing. And, like, if, if I know, okay, 
there's a he- he- I'm in I'm in an indie rock band, and there's a heavy metal who didn't turn their ringer off before an interview. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> oh! oh okay. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what? Oh, God. That's how it's so smooth. <laughs> oh, yeah, It's exactly. like sandpaper in spots. Anyway. Five minutes. Oh. Just want to fuck anyway. that man lotion. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Where, oh, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> uh, but meshing. Meshing. Meshing, yes. And, and it's if you have any sort of control over the set list or, or who's playing... Think about that because I've done. We, you probably have done this too. Where okay, I'm in a rock band, so the promoter or the booking booking agent has a, a solo acoustic act opening. <laughs> We've done that, and then and then <laughs> done that, and then the indie rock band. We've also in the done middle, that, and then goth metal, <laughs> and 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 the sound person's just like oh shit. <laughs> We actually have done, have all done that. that. We've yeah. done everything. Yeah. yeah. Rap band. Like yep. rap yeah. band. We actually played yeah. with a rap group too. Yeah. Yep. 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 I my first band was Magic Viewing Patch MVP. Shout out. Um, we were the, the the best description is Eddie Vedder singing with the Stones. So this band of nineteen year olds somehow had a sound, a classic rock sound. Huh. But the lyrics I was writing and singing were very Pearl Jam ish because it was the nineties. Yeah. What do you know? And. We kept getting, because they're all 19, we kept getting these gig, house party gigs where it's, we're sandwiched in between two punk bands. And I mean, young, angst ridden punk bands. And they all loved us every single time the bands were freaking moshing. <laughs> yeah, the bands were <laughs> moshing. Yeah. Every time we played, the bands loved us, their fans would be like, get off stage. Been there before, too. Yep. Yeah, we've done that. So, <laughs> the, the goal Just because you like a style of music and another band is playing a different type of music, doesn't mean you gotta be a dick about it. Good tunes is good tunes. Just appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, you know what? You're not doing it, so shut up. Yeah, oh, it. damn. He said it. Well, he said it. Yeah, he did say it. Yeah. <laughs> the views expressed on Rule 6 are entirely the... Uh, okay. This guy's... Anyway. <laughs> uh, what? So... <laughs> 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 Anybody else have a dream show they want to play on, or... You good with his... Yeah, uh, actually, I'm, I'm good with the See They're Breaking Benjamin thing. That would be pretty cool. Shuttle. I want to play with Primus... Nice. That'd be fucking Actually, awesome. less would make me feel like such an inferior. That's why I want to play with. But how awesome would it be? Oh my god! But how awesome? <laughs> how awesome would it be though if he said, "Hey man, nice set." Good if job. he said that to me, I would suck my own dick. <laughs> you already do. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I'm, I'm not that talented. Right before we got here, <laughs> I'm not that talented at yoga. In the I'm still, I'm still like intermediate <laughs> stage. I'm not. I'm still intermediate. I'm not Jeez, advanced. Mon. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Crime and Nutley. If you don't know us yet. Let's talk gear. Mm. Start with the drummer, because they're always the drum, the gear horse. Yeah, um, I have a kazoo. Like, first of all, Same. nice. So, <laughs> um, let's talk, what, what are you currently rocking? We're not going to talk about like everything you own, and what do you take okay. in the studio, cool. and blah, blah, blah. Sure Just, what are you currently rocking? Uh, so I'm rocking a Pearl Export that I got uh, online for $200. Nice. Yeah, I got a cool deal on it. I got like this little pork pie snare that's... Usually three fifty, but the guy didn't know what he had, so that's always nice. I took it. Nice, yeah. And this dude's a beast that makes those things sound so crispy. Are you are you basically a, like a ape arms kind of drummer? Um, kind of ape arms. I've kind of melded into it. When I when I went on when I went on tour, I kind of learned more, you know, Finesse-y. things and finessing. Yeah, yeah. Finesse. Yeah, right on. But I'm more of a power drummer, kind of a Simon Wright kind of guy. I got a heavy backbeat and nice, you know, nice. Yeah. Power, power top. Good. Yeah. Dude's a human metronome. Power bottom. That's it. Power bottom. This dude. This dude. I'm sorry, what? What was that? Did you did you stop my theory on asking? Is that what you... It's probably not. Thank you. I feel like we're going to all have sex later. I mean, my sanitizer's over there. Anyway. All right, cool. Wait, where's the lube, though? Bite the pillow. We're going in drive. Don't you dare bat an eye. We're going in drive. Blood is oh. lube. Anyway. Can, I, can I make Blood it weird is now? Lube. Can I make it weird? Is it not weird? My 12 year old daughter is upstairs. Oh. Hi, 12 year old daughter. I am not saying that we should do anything with my 12 year old daughter. What I'm saying is, they've been saying, this shit. They've been saying all this with her. I don't agree with. Wait, what? Hey, I, was, I was told we were unaware. Of her. Okay, okay, I'll tone it back down. Yeah. Anywho, I'm not going to argue. What gear are you rocking? She just took a self defense course. She can't kick all her asses. Anyway, cool. I don't have that. What gear are you currently rocking? Um, I rock a Marshall half stack and um, a Schechter guitar, uh, a lot of pedals. 
But, uh, yeah. No, 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 I want more. <laughs> what do you mean? Actually, we did. I digress. Is, 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 is. What sticks do you use? Um, I use Vic <laughs> Firth, uh, SD1 Generals, always. Cool. Heads? Uh, heads are Remo. All Remo? All Remo. All Remo all the time. All Remo all the time. You're watching right. Channel okay. 6. In case, you're, in case you're looking for sponsorship, just saying. Hey, yeah. Remo. So, uh, pedals? Pedals are DW always. Nice. So you don't go with pedals that come with uh, the kit? Uh, no, because the pedals didn't come with the kit when I bought my oh, kit. There you so. go. Um, that's, what that's why they're you, always. That's what happens when you shop on a Craigslist. There you go. <laughs> um, do you use Gorilla Snot? Uh, no, I do not. I use um, the like Aqua. Uh, but you use something Aqua Blue. Yeah, I use okay. that. Yeah. I uh, not to put anybody on blast, but I, I had a stick hit me in the back of a leg once. We were uh, doing a song for the news, like at Channel Five. <laughs> oh, fuck. they're more they're more more Vegas or whatever it was. Yeah, and it's like we had one we had to do one song one time. Really? Yeah, it hit me, and, and I, fortunately they had stopped recording. So. Mm. But it was the weirdest sensation. Oh, yeah. Have you ever had that happen? I've, I've not yet had that happen. Oh, have you? Um, okay. I've had it happen one time. I was playing with one of my old bands, and he hit his cymbal just as soon as I was turning around. And oh, no. Oh! After <laughs> hour. And, and, and suddenly, Michael Jackson. <laughs> and I dropped <laughs> like a fly. Wow. So, yeah. That's, That's, you win. Or lose like that. Well, <laughs> I felt like I lost. All right. got me. So, yes. so uh, yeah. what are you what are you rocking now? Okay, so it's like I said, Marshall Halfstack. Uh, I'm rocking the uh, Schecter Omen Six. Uh, her name's Cinnamon. Okay. I actually have a even tag on it named Cinnamon. Uh, I use all my pedals would be like oh, I forget what my distortion pedal is, but <laughs> is it your boss? Basically, it's a boss. No, it's not. It's not a boss. It's not a boss. Hey, nothing wrong with the boss it's like, orange pedal. It's like it's like an off-brand distortion pedal, but it sounds really good to is me. It, so, it, like, is it D'Angelo? Uh, no, it's not. Um, I got some of those. Oh, what an amateur! He doesn't know what his gear is. Hey, hey, I play. No shame. Don't don't, don't gear shame him. <laughs> don't gear shame. Everyone else is going to. It's okay. No, I I literally had someone on here who was like, I don't know when I play it. I get it from the singer. I have never like, once gear shamed you. Like no, I, I bought all of my pedals and stuff, so like I <laughs> should, should I should know <laughs> the names are usually printed on them. But I yes. actually like would just go to the store and just play them, and I'd right. be like, "That sounds cool. I'm gonna use okay. that." Let's let's slightly shift focus to what type of pedals do you have? Okay, I can do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> noise suppressors was I have uh, was as in more than one. Well, just one. Okay. Well, I, I, own, I own, own more than No, I own, own more than How would that but, like, yeah, broke. I've never played more than one wall pedal at the no, same just time. Have, like, you ever dropped acid? Like that. No. Oh. It's kind of like that. <laughs> no, I haven't dropped acid, but... Have you seen the fucking dragon in front of the fridge? <laughs> 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 but yeah, uh, use... Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's basically just so your standard, like, oh, yeah. that and yeah. chorus pedals, yeah. shit like I that. I got you. Okay. Right. So, on camera now. Pay no attention to the, dirt, the, the clean dishes over there. Sorry, I, I, I dropped the ball. Sorry, I, everyone who's ever been on my show or will be on my show. I'm sorry. Look at all the dishes out. But they're clean. I mean, but they're yeah, clean. I was about to say, yeah. like, it would be not different. not a freaking you know, it's like pump pile of dishes. dishes. Yeah, right. Anyway, so uh, strings, picks. Okay, Pick strings, ups. I'm pretty picky about. I use Dario's XLs. Yes. Cool. And they're point elevens. Nice. Uh, currently blanking. Thanks, Whiskey. On the... Uh, not just for the other guitarist for nocturnal hair. Slither strings. He has a, apparently that's all he uses. Mm -hmm. You might want to look into them. Uh, they're mm -hmm. local and they, they're priced for musicians. Apparently, really? Yeah. Hmm. I will uh, put a link down in the description. Slither strings. Nice. I'll yeah. check that out. As for picks, I'm also I no pun intended. I'm super <laughs> picky. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, 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 cover for you. Uh, it doesn't even deserve it. I'm sorry. So I use I use Dunlop's point eighty eights uh, with the double grip on each side because I tend to bleed at every show. It's double sided for her pleasure. For his pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. yeah, just so they don't fall out of my hand. But yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> did Did you do any sort of mods to your guitar? Or you uh, I did. I put EMG eighty one eighty fives, but I'm actually looking into putting Seymour Duncan distortions. So, see more uh, to Just going straight to the distortion. Just yeah. All right. Next. All right. I'm running uh, an Ampeg 450 watt combo, two tens, two tweeters, and uh, two mids. Um, 
Right now, that thing just sounds beast. I've got a custom grill coming in, so it's going to be awesome. Because I haven't I bought this. anything. Is it going to be Dirt Halo custom grill? Or <laughs> it no? is. Okay, I'm just but checking. The thing is, it's, 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 <laughs> he complained about it earlier it, today. He complained about it, but it's going to say Dirt Halo. It's also going to have the girl that I drew up on my computer. It's going to have my last name and her. She's covered in tattoos. She's got to stay sick on her knuckles. Oh, it's just going to look good on stage. Um, We're an ICP cover band now. Yeah. <laughs> We're Juggalos. <laughs> Juggalos, bring it on. Uh, Are you familiar uh, with Stephen Lynch? Yes. yes. Yeah. Have you heard his song about the Juggalos? No, mm -hmm. not yet. You need to listen to it. Anyway. We'll but uh, I'm running that, and it's an Ampeg because I just love Ampeg and I work it very well. I'm working a Schecter Stiletto Stealth 5 right now, which that thing is just fucking phenomenal. I use uh, 0.63 picks, which is weird, but... That is weird. That's... Thinner, right? Yes, yeah. but the way I play, it just freaking works to where it just it gives me the attack I what need, is? but it gives me the flexibility to do all this. You weird don't break shit. a lot of them. Oh hell no! Oh, yeah. um, the what's funny is the material. The seagull is fine. Oh yeah, but yeah, the yeah. but the the pressed uh, diamond, no, that that shit breaks yeah. like that. It lets him miss all the downbeats. It's great. I am <laughs> on the downbeats. I have. I am on the downbeats. I'm the drummer, and I'm on the downbeats. <laughs> and may I say, as a, as a drummer. You were right on time. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> my job. What the fuck? Do I have a piece of poo on my head still? Anyway. <laughs> like, but no, um, this is, but I, I also, I'm actually, I'm actually the one who converted him to Diodaro because I fucking love those strings. Yeah. I mean, um, I, I've, I've got them on acoustic, well, but I've never. What's funny is, is I've done the Ernie's. They're good if I'm broke, but the <laughs> Diodarios, they just have this ability to maintain oil resistance way longer, sustain that. That freaking s suspension and resonation. So it just, I nerd out on that because I'm very into it. <laughs> not, not to make this a nocturnal affair video, but uh, to quote Michael, help me, I'm poor. <laughs> he kept saying that. Actually, help By the way, um, in, in case you don't know, in American Musical Supply, if you want to sponsor Michael? us, uh, I do recommend American mm -hmm. Musical Supply um, because <laughs> I have crap credit because I'm a musician. 60 bucks a month for 10 months, I got a $700 guitar for 60 bucks a month. You could do it too. My crappy right. credit score, and it'll help your credit. Hey, so where would that uh, website be possibly? AmericanMusicalSupply.com. Bing. 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 Or here, yeah. That cool. Bing, bing, bing. I'm so cheesy. Um, bing. Right. <laughs> Everybody's done gear. Let's yes. talk from the highs. No, I'm sorry. Let's, from what you have currently, rock. What a dream gear. Ooh. Let us ascend the mountain of Wayne's world, soon to be mined. Okay. I got you. Uh, EVH fifty one fifty M. Of course, we're alone. Amateur. It sounds so good. When <laughs> I know it's it so good. It sounds because so every guitarist good. in town has that. Hey, but it's hey, good. Hey, hey, hey. Right. That, it's no, actually that's not true. <laughs> that's also what we recorded our uh, record on. So <laughs> really yeah. What was it? The actual amp or was it a, 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 a actual amp? Actual amp. What is it? Fifty one. Not a fifty one fifty series Mod three. I want to say later. Something like that. Not a simulator, yeah. it was the actual amp. Plugged yeah. direct in. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, okay. And next. Um, if I could, I would do the uh, Heart Key 800 watt uh, standard yep. um, because it's just got the triple, you know, bass, mid, treble. Um, but. <gasps> What's that? Someone doesn't like Heart Key. <gasps> hater? Hey. Oh, Heart Key hater? hater? I'm actually basically friends with Larry Hartke, but <laughs> oh, Hartke, because yeah. uh, I, I, don't get me wrong, I'm an Ampeg guy, but <laughs> yeah, I would I would use uh, a Hartke 800 watt. Um, hi, buddy. Hey, everyone's saying hi to my daughter. Hi, daughter. Hi, daughter. Hi, daughter. Hi, daughter. Hi. She's not a flying squirrel. Mom wants ice cream. Great. Don't know where it is. It's in the freezer. Yeah. You know the freezer you're in right now. <laughs> Justin, don't. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? I okay, the ears turn. ready? <laughs> Booze break! We're back! Clank and say yah! Yah! What's Pirate's favorite letter? R. R. No, it's the C. Oh, Jesus. Damn it! But this Pirate's favorite letter is U. Booty! Oh, yippee the booty! Ooh, what did the Pirate say on his 80th birthday? Hi, oh, matey. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> See? And I'm not the only one with dad jokes, so right! Wow. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Well, I'm a dad. <laughs> so I have no excuse. Nice. From the hot did, did everybody do their dream gear? Yes. Uh, I, I did not. Oh, I didn't really? either. Yeah. Yeah. Did. No, I didn't. I started with my head. That's all I did. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing with your head. Freezy! Okay. 
Was so, it, Jinger. <laughs> so I was doing the Harky 800 watt simple uh, tri treble mid bass, and then I was gonna go with the for the cab the Ampeg 410 and 15 because that 15 will give me the extra low end, the 410s will give me that nice crisp mid and treble voice. Because so, I, I play chords, so a new rig basically. Ye- President? <laughs> well, well, God willing, I'm gonna get get this job soon and I can afford it because it's only gonna cost me fifty bucks a month. Because where? AmericanMusicalSupply.com. Ding, ding. I gotta reach out to them for sponsorship. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Um, you there? So my dream gear is gonna be a Treehouse drum set. I just recently discovered them when I was in Kansas. That's a brand, I assume. Yeah, Treehouse okay. is a brand. Yeah. Um, so they're, they're they, from Kansas. Uh, they're not from Kansas. Um, I don't know exactly where they're from, but they like hand make all their drums, and it's really uh, yeah. right on. Uh, a special, unique, warm sound. Let me just say, and, and, and I apologize it's if it offends anybody. Uh, go Niners! Anyway, go ahead. Texas, <laughs> not Kansas City. Cool. I am. Uh, I have my own game. So we're house divided, actually. My half because I have uh, in laws that live in Kansas City, Kansas City, Missouri. They used, to live in, they used to live near Kansas City, Kansas. Kansas, yep. My mother in laws actually said, I'm going to root for Kansas. We're like, we have no Kansas City paraphernalia or regalia, <laughs> nothing here. Why? Just, Just because. Because she's a mother in law. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting. Uh, this is the first sport, uh, sports bowl. This is the first Super sports bowl, bowl in a long time. <laughs> go sports! Go <laughs> team! Score <laughs> points! They're sporting so hard! <laughs> this is the first Super Bowl in a long time where I, I'm actually going to care. Okay. And it's right. nice. So, uh, I have an interview actually right before it. Nice. It's yeah, gonna be a quick fun. interview anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and we're done. Great, uh, we're done. So real quick. Yes. Because you guys are on, on a schedule. Mm-hmm. Your dream gear, treehouse. Yeah, treehouse. Drums. Just a full kit. Yeah, full kit, full treehouse. Um, uh, I eventually want to get up to uh, having all of my minel symbols together. I have about three now, so minel is a decent brand. Yeah. yeah. I hear good things. Yeah. Right on. Last question. You made it. Woo. Sweet woot. From the highs of dream gear to the lows of lost gear. Anybody lose gear? Ever? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I've had yeah. gear st- stolen. I lied. That's actually the second to last question. Sorry. <laughs> no good. Uh, actually, at one of our shows, I had someone steal a guitar. And I was you pretty pissed about that. So, yeah. Uh, it, it wasn't anything special. It was just an Ibanez, um, I forget, a Geo. Uh, but I like did a bunch of modifications to it. But it wasn't theirs; it was yours. Yeah, exactly. Is that Post Malone on your hat? It is Post Malone on my hat. He <laughs> looks like Post Malone. I'm no, just kidding. You leave my friend to do. No, kidding. actually, they uh, our roommate bought me this hat because I it's... keep getting compared to Post Malone. No, not even close. That's, Sorry, that's what I thought. That's, that's what I said. That's, no. that's actually what I said. I'm no. like, no, I know him. I know him. You're Justin McBride all day long. Justin McBride. More like Danny McBride. Nice. You gotta get that. That's awesome. Damn. Damn fool, he clowned you. So, um, Lost Gear, somebody stole your guitar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, where? That was at a place called the church, which is shut down. Wow, that's even ruder. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. It was Uh, a church on the weekend. It actually was a church. Fuck you. Lost Gear? Um, I I had to sell my gear one time. That's not the same. It's not the same, but it's still lost because I still think about it. You know, my first drum set when I was uh, like 13 years old. Yeah. So, memories. Ouch. Yeah, I'd sell I, it for, for I left rent mine, money. I left mine next to the van in the parking lot and mm. drove home and I was like, I really just did that, didn't I? Yeah, it's yeah. Same. I still uh, still remember my brother breaking two of mine. Wow. And I wasn't allowed to kill him. I'm going, well, that's, that's proper punishment. <laughs> that's my child. Right. Rude. All right. So... So from the lows of lost here, let's pretend we're talking to new musicians. Okay. Okay. Someone is all excited to meet you know meet you and, and like oh I wish I could play bass like you or sing or play guitar like you or drum like you. What is one thing that you wish someone had told you when you started doing music as a like actually performing out in front of people? I'll take the lead on that if I can. Please for it. Okay. If you want. Tell tell tell, <laughs> tell the children. If I want. Tell the children. <laughs> Alright. What I wish is I got lucky enough to find these two guys. Um, we're not just a band, we're freaking family. But um, the oh, thing is, is, boy, is I still remember Archie's wanting family. to give up, <laughs> wanting to quit a lot because I was always told, shut up, turn that down, shut up, turn that off, shut up, turn. That's how it went. But 
the difference between those who make it and those who don't is perseverance. If you feel the passion for it, do it. Find a way to do it. Plug in headphones, do whatever you have to do, but do what you can with don't what let, you got. Don't let anyone dim your sparkle, sunshine. Bingo. Yeah. Bingo. Bingo. No touch back. No so for you. Next. Um if I had to tell someone younger. Uh and, and and shout out to um I don't remember which one of you, I'm sorry, I, I did an interview with Minus, and one of you actually rephrased my question, which was, what's your one piece of, of you know maintenance advice? And he he said, Oh, is it you know what somebody I wish somebody had told me? And I was like, that's the way I'm gonna do this. So shout out to you. So I don't remember which one it was. You got me drunk. <laughs> Cheers. Um, I guess the one thing I would say to people would be um, market yourselves very well. Don't deal with promoters that really don't care about the music or anything like that. Because a lot of times we've had shows where it was very difficult because they didn't know what was going on either. Uh, you just don't need to deal with that. Uh, a lot of times you can actually find these shows if you actually work hard and... Just find the right people in town. Right. And and don't be afraid to not do as many shows as you think you should be. Exactly. Go for quality over quantity, yeah. says the guy who tries to upload two videos a week. <laughs> <laughs> but at least my videos tend to be, like, different. I'm well, not just doing... It. We're here now, so quality just went up. Yeah. Hey! hey. <laughs> down? I don't or down, down, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, and quantity. Quiet, so. <laughs> yeah. Go <Good> look. <laughs> like a rock. <laughs> Uh, you. Me. Uh, Learn me to be a drummer. Um, How can I be like you? The hardest thing I struggled with was having fun. I thought it was a chore and a job. And that's what so, practicing all the time does for you. You yeah. kind of forget, like, oh yeah, it's easy at the show because right. it's supposed to be yeah. easy, yeah. 100%. But yeah, when I was going through drumline in high school, man, it was like, it was a job. Oh, yeah. Right. I hear marching band. I've, I've never... Yeah. that The revolving door... Or not a uh, revolving door. Magic Boogie Patch Band? Mm -hmm. Every one of them came... I transplanted to a different instrument from marching band. Yeah. So, like, the, the trumpet player became the lead guitarist. And he's amazing. John Paul Reed, shout out. <laughs> and, like, the keyboard player was, I forget what, but, but it was like, I was, they were telling us, I'm like, really? You haven't been doing this for years and years and years? Something about music, uh, a marching band and yeah. just music in general teaches you. You learn a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But it was, yeah. So, um, anyway, sorry. But in our story, yeah, no worries. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I, pl I played just about every instrument in uh, marching band, uh, drum wise. So, you know, learned a lot, learned uh, good lessons. You know, if you're not having fun, then you're not you're not doing it. Wow. You know, oh, cool. Well then, gentlemen, my glass is empty, which means the interview's over. <laughs> Mine's <Fair> not. <laughs> it, it will be soon. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. To, to empties. To empties. Thank you very much for watching. Stick around. We're going to join them up in front of the guitar wall. They're going to knock out a couple of quick songs, and then off they go to a thing. Absolutely. Thing. We call it rehearsal, but it's like a circle jerk. <laughs> Got to bring the fun in. You know? As total, you do. Total order. Seriously, though, uh, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate you, and uh, appreciate you guys. Sorry. Absolutely. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to ruin your bit, but th thank you. Thank you for having us on here. Ooh. Now I'm intrigued what that could do. I want and some of that. Yeah, give him some. There you go. I feel dirty. Now. <laughs> I feel dirty. Well, you're a dirt halo, so. Wow. Should be. <laughs> Stick around. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stick around. We're going to join them in front of the guitar wall. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming by Room 6. Everyone say bye. Bye. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> nice.
thank dirt halo for coming by it was a great interview and a great performance if you want to check out more from them go ahead and check out their links below and also click here if you'd like to uh, see more content like this please by all means consider clicking one of my patreon link or uh, buy a cd down in the description it'll help the channel yes i know um <laughs> in the meantime they've got to run really appreciate you coming by remember to be amazing and we'll see you next time in room six and don't forget to subscribe say bye guys bye, bye.